I'm hoop or hoop or hoop. I'm sailing by myself. In the last video I was stranded at an island with only one inhabitant due to engine problems. And once again I saw the kindness of total strangers. He invited me for dinner every day. Uh, I jerry-rigged the system to still being able to motor sail to the big island, Providenciales in the Turks and Caicos, where I uh, will ship the engine part to. I almost made it, but then at the end the engine started to overheat again and I had to anchor on the sail. Never had I thought to see anything on the Turks and Caicos, but now we're here anyway, so let's go see something of the Turks and Caicos. First stop I'm making is Bird Rock Trail. Providenciales is very busy, but this area is very quiet. Let's go. What a nice trail this is, I wasn't expecting that. One of the reasons I travel is to be more in touch with nature. Ah, here's a viewpoint ladder, let's climb on it. I guess that used to be a ladder, is this still doable? Yeah, I think so. That is where the trail ends. Next stop I'm making is called The Hole. It is a naturally formed limestone sinkhole. I think there's supposed to be a way to go down there. There's a rope here, let's uh, try it out. Okay, so going down here. Getting down is one, I just gotta make sure that I can also get up again. Made it down. Apparently you can uh, swim here, but the water does not look that inviting. So quiet here. Just parked a dinghy here. I'm quickly going on the way to customs because apparently if I get an exemption letter because I'm a ship in transit it's gonna be 5% uh, of tax and otherwise 35 so on a total of $450 it does make a big uh, difference so let's go to customs so I was at the custom office but apparently there's another custom office which is seven kilometers four mile further is he stopping for me I don't think so I am immediately picked up by a truck yeah! That was cool. Never been in a truck here before. Hey, three kilometers more to go. Maybe a hitchhike another bit. The second ride picked me up immediately. I did not film that. Uh, this is customs. I uh, came there and I actually had to email the forms. So if I would have known that, I could have just done it on the boat. But hey, if you know everything in advance, Okay, so now it's waiting till they reply. Might be today, might be tomorrow, and then, yeah, it, it'll save, I guess, 120, 130 dollar. Now I'm gonna hitchhike back. Let's go back through the beautiful blue water and make a plan to see something more of Turks and Caicos. The area I am now is Sapadilla Bay in Provo or Providenciales. And I want to show you the houses over there. I want to go there by dinghy, show it a bit closer. That's uh, from the richer community uh, and also rental houses. It's a bit uh, thundery today. So uh, it looks pretty open sky where the boat is. So I'm not too worried.
today, me and ATN, my neighbor boat, are going to take this for a spin. My boat is anchored over these hills and um, over the other hills is where the ocean is. And this is a really shallow lake, so that's why there are no other boats here. And this is perfect for something like this. It's broken? Oh no, ready for the sails. This thing might fall apart anytime soon. Oh yeah, we're going. first time I did Hobie Cat sailing, I was crewing on other people's boats, it was very in the beginning, and I was so bad at it, like I almost crashed the Hobie Cat in another boat, so I was very curious if now, after solo sailing, I could do it a bit better, and actually I actually do have a, it goes quite well, and I actually have an idea what I'm doing, so that's very reassuring for my future. Start, left, line. Okay, we have a rudder. Okay. That rudder broke. So I'm, uh, I mean, uh, the, the rudder still works, but the lines, the, I'm doing it by hand because the handles don't work anymore. <laughs> This is Walk-In Marine, the only marine store in Turks and Caicos. They got a selection of ropes. And they do have quite a bit of paint supplies. Some general stuff like uh, navigation lights over there and uh, well, a lot of miscellaneous like buttons and uh, locks, padlocks. A selection of fuel filters, some uh, hoses and uh, electrical bilge pumps and some other electrical pumps, a selection of sealants. They have a lot of generic stuff. It's uh, I think about 10 or 20 percent maximum cheaper as the Bahamas. Still fairly pricey. I'm just doing an uh, oil filter, oil and diesel filter change and I don't get it, there's so much dirt here, like I cleaned the whole tank from the inside a couple months ago, where's this dirt coming from? We're gonna check out the brewery, which apparently you have to push a button, but there's a car coming, so the gate is opening. It looks like a very industrial building. Oh, I thought here was the entrance. Apparently we're going up the stairs. Ah, oh, here it is. Turks Head Brewery, tasting room. So there's a little um, shop where you can buy t-shirts and clothing. Then there is a uh, bar area where we're gonna have a drink. And then here is the brewery where you can do a tour, but I'm definitely too late for that. I used to work in the wine industry and I actually gave wine cellar tours myself. Um, so it's at least really cool to see. I'd love to uh, do a tour sometime. I don't know much about beer brewing, so maybe you guys do. Is this uh, normally what you expect, what you see here in uh, Turks and Caicos? This is the Conch Shack, which is a pretty well-known place here. We're gonna visit now. So I don't see a lot of locals here, uh, but I would like to show you the place. There are um, 
you know, a bunch of uh, these things. A bunch of uh, local. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm good, and you? And then uh, this is the restaurant, restaurant area. Look at this wall. This is this is awesome. Like they used cement and this is a conch bar and they use this conch shells with cement to make the wall. That's that's so cool. After a bit of back and forth emailing and calling with customs about the uh, tax exemption letter, I have it. Now I can pick up the package. So it was $55 with a tax exemption. Without it would be $170. And then actual shipping from the US here was $160, which is paid by Brian. Brian, if you're watching, like I said, once we meet, I'll take you out for dinner. I have the part. Yeah, I can install it and continue to the DR. I clean the inside as good as I can. I'd like to do things uh, as good as I can when I'm busy anyway. If you see my engine is a bit rusty, it's because I used the wrong spray paint. I used heat spray paint when I sprayed it and it's all gone and started to rust again. There were no new bolts that came with the, uh, with the new uh, pump. So I'm cleaning the old one with a steel brush a bit. Also this thing uh, wasn't included in the new one. So I guess I just have to reuse it. I'm going to clean it since it's out. I'm going to use a bit of RTV flexible gasket. I have a normal gasket, but here it's a little damaged on the bottom. Uh, probably after the pump broke. So I just want to make sure that there will be a good seal and that it won't leak. One more round of acetone. Taking out from the inside with the, uh, the leftovers, what I squeezed in from the uh, RTV. Before leaving the Turks and Caicos, one more trip to the fish fry. back at checkout now waiting for customs and immigration should be here in an hour uh, this time we did smarter last time I had to pay a day fee of $30 and then I found out if I get some diesel uh, that I don't have to pay the day fee so I got diesel for $20 now I have diesel and I don't have to pay the $30 uh, okay so also I put silicone on the on the gasket uh, of the pump so I couldn't try it out yet so I'm just gonna assume all is fine now tomorrow morning I'm gonna put uh, the antifreeze in and um, it should be fine. I just checked out, it's 3 p.m. now and the guy from customs asked me like 
Uh, what time are you leaving tomorrow? I'm like, well, between six and seven, I think. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so it's $60. I'm like, but that's including over hours. It's 3 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're leaving uh, not during working hours. And I'm like, well, but you're here now uh, in working hours, right? I'm just leaving i'll just pull up anchor no 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 you're not gonna be cheap now huh? you're not gonna be cheap now you said between six and seven so now you cannot also not change it anymore and i'm like uh and, uh, and he was so and i'm like you know what that ten dollar you just stick it in your yeah so <laughs> whatever i'm checked out let's go back to the boat Goodbye, Etienne. See you next time.